Okay, so we've got this tool hire company here, okay, and they've got then the cost of hiring a cement mixer and a jet washer, given by this sort of formula here. So it says in part A, Sarah hires a cement mixer for five days and a jet washer for seven days from True Tool. How much change would she get from £200? Well, let's work out the cost, yeah? Let's work out the cost, what it would be. So first of all, let's focus on the cement mixer, shall we? So the cement mixer for five days, okay? Um, so we'll work out that cost then. So let's highlight that. Cement mixer, let's even underline it maybe. Okay, and we work out the cost there. So um, using the formula in that table for cement mixer, you'll notice um, 13 times the number of days, well five days, yeah? So it'll be 13 times five. Okay, just using this formula for cement mixer, um, five days, so 13 times 5 plus 26, okay, and um, 13 times 5 will be uh, 65, yeah, okay, I mean, you can work that out by the side if you want, if you build it up, you, you, know, you know 10 times 5, don't you, 10 times 5 is 50, and then 11 times 5 is 55, 12 times 5 is 60, 13 times 5 is 65, so we work out the multiplication first, and then we add on 26, okay? And again, you could work that out by the side, and when you add them together, you get 91. So it'd be 91 pounds for the cement mixer. So now let's look at the uh, jet washer. So in that case, uh, what has she done? The jet washer for seven days, right? The formula for that then will be nine times the number of days, nine times seven, plus then 38. And nine times seven, you work out that out, you know your tables are 63, plus then 38. So add them together, and again you can do that by the side, that would add up to give 101 pounds. So she spent 91 on the cement mixer, 101 on the jet washer, we just need to add them together now. Okay, so 101 add 91. Okay, if we add them together, of course, add the units, you probably see it already, yeah? Add the units is two, add the tens is nine, add then the hundreds is 100, 192. Now, if it cost 200, if she's got 200 pounds, how much change she can get? Well, she's gonna eight pounds change, yeah? Okay, um, part B then, it says, Gearwright hired a cement mixer for a number of days. Uh, Lois hired a jet washer for the same number of days, okay? They each paid the same amount of money. For how many days did they each hire these tools from True Tool? Okay, so we need to work out how many days taking place here for the hiring of both of these um, different um, objects, right? For the cement mixer and, and the jet washer. But um, they, they spent the same amount of money, all right? So we could do this by trial and error, okay? So suppose it was one day, okay? Then um, cement mixer will be 13 times one. So, so one day, um, cement mixer will be 13 times one. Add 26. So if I work that out, well 13 times one is 13. Add 26 is 39. So it'd be 39 pounds. But the, um, the jet washer then, if that was one day, it'd be nine times one plus 38. Well, nine times one is nine, add 38 is 47. Okay, well that's not good. So one day isn't the case because they cost different, they pay different amounts. If it was two days, okay, well, um, it'll be, you know, in that formula, 13 times two, and then add 26. So 13 times two is 26, add 26, 26 to 26 is 52. And then if you do the same for the jet washer, nine then times two days plus 38. Well, nine times two is 18, plus 38 is uh, 56. Again, they're different, okay? They're different. So let's try three days, okay? So a bit of trial and improvement, really. So 13 times three, add 26. 13 times three is 39, when you work that out, and add 26 is 65, and, um, here then, nine times three for the jet washer, plus 38. Well, nine times three is 27, plus 38 is 65. So day three is when, three days, 
gives you the cost the same amount. So three days is the answer, right? And we did that by trial and improvement. And thankfully, there was enough space there for us to do that. And that's what I would do um, if we're not sure, you know, the best approach here is just to try each day, right? Try for one day, two days, three days until you get the figures corresponding and the same. And then you know how many days there are. There is another way of doing it, right? A, a sort of a sort of a more advanced way, but you, you can be sure to get to the answer in a lot quicker, in a, in, in a much quicker way as well. S suppose we think of this in terms of algebra, right? And if we think about the number of days, say we, we call the number of days n, right? So there we'd have 13 times n, yeah? So, or 13n plus 26. Okay, so that would be for the cement mixer. Right, that would be for the cement mixer. That would be the formula for it, wouldn't it? 13 times the number of days plus 26. And that would be the cost, don't forget, right? So we're talking about cost here. 13 times the number of days plus 26, so 13n plus 26. If I did the same then for the jet washer, that would be 9 times n, 9n plus 38. Now, of course, in the question, it talked about the, them spending the same amount, okay? So they spend the same on the cement mixer as they do on the jet washer. In other words, the costs are equal. So algebraically, we could say that this cost here, 13n plus 26, equals to 9n plus 38. Costs are equal. And we've got a bit of algebra then to solve. And we're going back to equation work then. So we get the letters on one side and numbers on the other. So we could take the 9n over. Because minus 9n. Take the 26 over because minus 26. 13n take away 9n is 4n. And 38 take away 26 is 12. And then you can see then, when you've got that, of course the last step then, 4 times n, we'll take the 4 over and we divide in by 4, yeah? Do the opposite of times and we divide by 4 and we get, of course, 3, which is the answer we got through trial and improvement.